everyone let us discuss this result so in this result we have a matrix space xd a and b b any two subsets of x and we have to prove that a intersection b whole bar is subset of a bar intersection b bar okay so let us start to prove and after that what we have to prove equality may be strict okay this thing we have to prove that thing also so let us start to prove this one so clearly one thing we can write a intersection b is subset of a in this diagram you can easily see a and b b any two sets intersection a intersection b is here so clearly it is subset of a similarly it is subset of b also so let me write it here and a intersection b is subset of b see we have already proved some results so those results i am going to use here so those uh, that one result was p subset of q then p bar subset of q bar this result already we have proved right so let us use it here a intersection b subset of a so that's why we can write a intersection b whole bar is subset of a bar similarly a intersection b whole bar is subset of b bar using the same result that means a intersection b whole bar is subset of a bar as well as it is subset of b bar also so that's why it is subset of intersection of these two sets so therefore let me write therefore what can we write here a intersection b whole bar is subset of intersection of these two sets okay so in this way we prove this result after that let us complete the remaining part equality may be strict that means we have to find one example where equality does not hold getting there will not be equality there will be a proper subset this thing we have to prove so let us find one example so i am writing one example here consider a matrix space consider a matrix space r d u r d u that means a usual matrix d of x y is equal to mod x minus y i am considering two sets here a is equal to open interval 0 1 b is equal to open interval 1 2 okay so let us find a bar so you know that a bar is equal to a union a dash a union set of all limit points of a so a is open interval 0 1 set of limit points of a will be close interval 0 1 so therefore let me write okay i will mention here a union a dash a is open interval 0 1 a dash set of limit points will be close interval 0 1 so that's why their union will be close interval 0 1 right similarly b bar is equal to b union b dash will you tell me b is what open interval 1 2 b dash set of limit points will be close interval 1 2 union will be close interval 1 2 so in this way we found out a bar and b bar so let us find uh, okay so let us use this space to solve remaining problem okay okay so a bar union b bar which is equal to uh, sorry intersection we have to take right intersection so what is a bar close interval 0 1 and b bar is close interval 1 2 you can easily see here if you have an interval like this 0 1 2 what is the first interval we have close interval 0 1 and what is the second interval we have close interval 1 2 okay so what is common between them that point one okay singleton one is common in both sets so that's why the intersection will be singleton one okay singleton one so let us find the second set now that means a bar intersection b bar we have got it now now let us find a intersection b whole bar now let me write a intersection b first okay what is a open interval zero one intersection b open interval one two see both sets are open sets that means they do not okay they do not uh, contain their boundary points so 0 1 and 1 2 nothing is common there since that point 1 is not present in first set as well as it is not present in second set so that's why intersection is phi getting empty set there is nothing common so if you take there its closure closure of any empty set is empty set again so what we are getting a bar intersection b bar is singleton one but a intersection b whole bar it is equal to phi so both sets are not equal we are getting a proper inclusion okay so therefore let me mention therefore a intersection b whole bar is proper subset of okay i am denoting in this way a bar intersection b bar okay so that's why equality is uh, that means need not be true 
getting so equality may not be strict so in this way we have proved the second part also okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye